Thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Rachel. I grew up in Provo. I attended BYU for a few years. And I also recently made history as the first openly LGBTQ woman to compete at Miss USA. And um, this is not my platform. It's just a detail that the media really likes, but I would like to say it because I think it's important to mention because I believe that every young person has the right to be who they are, free of judgment and free of the fear of not being included in their community. My actual platform is called I Am Why, and it stands from I Am Why I Am Here. I'm a lived experience survivor of suicide, so I'm a professional suicide prevention speaker, a trained crisis counselor. I work on the crisis text line and speak with kids and young adults and people of all ages every day that are considering um, ending their life. And so this is something I'm very passionate about. Um, I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder a little bit over a year and a half ago, and it took me a really long time to receive treatment because of the stigma surrounding this illness. It's one of the most heavily stigmatized mental health issues, but I found that as soon as I received proper um, medication, stopped from taking in drugs and alcohol, and went to therapy, that I actually could live a pretty normal life. You know, who would know? <laughs> who would guess that those things don't help? <laughs> um, so I've been, um, I've been sober for about a year and a half now, and um, I'm a really big advocate on self-care. I believe that there are real steps we can take to help uh, Utah's mental health crisis. That starts with reducing shame and stigma. That's why I'm so outspoken about all of these subjects. I think that shame is one of the first things that leads us to isolate ourselves, to withdraw from our community, and to feel like our life isn't worth living. So I feel like if we can get rid of shame by having transparent conversations about things that maybe seem more taboo, we can start um, having real change. Another thing is building community, something I'm really passionate about. Community is one of the you know, first ways we actually prevent suicide. I attend suicide prevention walks all year long, and I've seen that, you know, at that point, it's usually a place that people come to grieve. And so how do we actually prevent suicide? Preventing suicide stops starts way before you ever get to a suicide prevention walk, and that starts with, you know, making friends in our community, bringing people together, uniting as Utah, realizing that, you know, we are all one, no matter what you believe, we all come from, you know, the same source, and we are all united as brothers and sisters here. So. I'm a big proponent of uniting Utah in, in that way. And then also, um, I think self-care is really important. So I teach young people how to take care of themselves and to prioritize that. Um, it's really important to be of service to others, but you don't have very much to offer if you haven't first started with yourself. And so those are some of the things that I hope to share this year as Miss Utah. I'm also really hoping to create a documentary of kind of highlighting this entire journey to Miss USA and to highlight Utah's um, beautiful national parks, our, our leaders in mental health. I wanna bring all of that together into a really compelling story. And so these are some things that I need help with. Um, and if you have any ideas or if this inspires you in any way, please come talk to me. I'm really excited and grateful to be here Miss Utah. And it uh, took me a long time. I competed for Miss Utah in five years. There were like two hospitalizations in that period of time. So this is more than just a beauty pageant. This is my work as um, my own self-care and becoming the person that I am today. So thank you for having me.